This installation guide is for IKEA Sedona. The parts installed in this video are a Takancha Custom 4 Flat Connector Kit, part number 118269, and a mounting bracket, part number CQT118144. Four flat connectors are needed to connect a vehicle's operating lights to the operating lights of most non-braked trailers. You will need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Hey, what's up everyone? If you're going to be using your trailer hitch to tow a trailer, you're going to need a trailer light harness installed on your vehicle. One of the great features about the Kia Sedona is that it's pre-wired for towing. Um, the harnesses will terminate right behind the driver's side tire here. So today we're going to be using a vehicle specific uh, lighting kit um, that terminates to a four flat trailer end here. And one thing we did notice when we took it out of the box is it does not have a bracket kit for mounting it right here. So what we're gonna be using is a U-Haul four flat bracket, part number CQT118144. Um, you can find this at any local U-Haul store or at uhaul.com. Um, let's go ahead and get started on uh, plugging this in and get it routed over to the bumper area here and we'll get it mounted. Okay, um, to get our four flat harness installed, we'll need to remove these caps from the OEM plugs here. And to do that, it's pretty simple. We're just going to squeeze the little buttons here, one on the outside on this four post OEM connector. Squeeze and pull out. You can see there's a little button there. And then on our larger plug here, the button is on the outside towards the outside fender. We're gonna squeeze and pull out. You can see our little button here. And we can just simply match our plugs up here and here and Start with the larger one. Push in until we hear the clip lock in place. There we go. Okay, now that we have the connectors plugged in here, um, we need to get the, our four flat routed over to our bracket here. Um, we want to do that uh, as clean as possible, meaning we want to hide the wires. We just don't want them dangling down, hanging over to a bracket here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to route this four flat harness up and into the back of the bumper here. And with my hands, I can feel that there's an opening in a bracket there that I can route it through. And it should just be able to come right out through here. There we go. We'll just have that come out right here, mount to the bracket here. Okay, now that we have our wiring harness routed to where it needs to be, we're gonna go ahead and install our four flat bracket. We're gonna take the provided hardware, line up our bracket here, I'm gonna use a, just a 3 8 wrench to tighten this down. So looking at this four flat here, I, I think it's gonna look a little bit better if I go behind the hitch, if I route behind the hitch and come up under here. So pretty easy to do that. I'm just gonna pull it around. I'm gonna take our four flat. These grooves here will line up in the grooves in the four flat bracket. And it just gets pushed right in. Just like that. And we have a, a dust cover that's also provided with the four flat. Just close that on there. 
That's our four flat installed. Um, the last thing we're gonna wanna do is clean up our work here. Okay, so now cleaning up our wiring harnesses, um, we're gonna use the provided zip ties. Um, and on this particular product, we have a power converter box with a fuse here. Um, I'd like to get that as high as I can away from any splash area. I don't, we don't want it getting soaked. So I'm gonna zip tie it as high as I can. Okay, that's perfect there. Um, now I'll go ahead and just fold up the rest of the wiring and zip tie it up to the same harness. Okay, and that'll do it for our four flat install on this uh, Kia Sedona. Thank you all for watching. To learn more about the product seen in this video or to schedule an installation by a U-Haul hitch professional, visit uhaulhitches.com.